Uh, for the first year I was doing this, I was very happy. I mean, it was the dream. I mean, I got to come out to the ring to all these main events, to all these title fights, for all these names coming in, man. But the past few months, they've been tough. But. I live my life thinking that if you want good stuff to happen, you have to go through some tough times. Yes, I use the money that Ken Barber gets me to pay for my mom's medical bills. I use it to support my family. Yes. I'm not proud of it, but I understand. But I need to feed my family. I need to provide for them. So that's what I got to do. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes for my family and the people I care about. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for my family. And even though it's tough to do this, I need to keep going through for it for my mom for my family. They're what really matters to me. I don't really believe in luck. I believe that you make your own luck. And I believe in opportunity and I believe in preparation. Those two victories I got, I didn't get from luck. I got because of opportunity and I got because of preparation. I prepared for matchups with guys like Nikki Heat. I prepared for battle royals like that. I was actually in three other battle royals and I just so happened to win this one. This isn't politics. This isn't Fox News. This is House of Glory. This is about wrestling. I don't know. I don't think Ken Brody really wants to defend this title. Not against not against someone who knows his moves. I don't think Ken Brody would want to defend the title against somebody who's seen all of his matches. I don't think Ken Brody would want to defend his title against someone who knows all of his moves. I mean, I'm not saying I want that match, but it would be very interesting to see, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you.